Excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. What up, y'all? KMB the Six Ninja in the place to be for C Plus Studios, and this is the New World Podcast, brother. And it's for life. <laughs> and it's fueled and it's powered. You will acknowledge crazyhoodies.com. Crazyhoodies.com. All designs created by the one and only Big Daddy. Go check out his podcast, Big Daddy Forever. It's a great podcast. Check out his YouTube channel. Run them numbers up. Also, if you subscribe to the C Plus Studios feed, 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 you get the New World Podcast. You get Big Daddy Forever. You get the Sexy Ninja Cast. And you also get the staple, the staple of C Plus Studios. And that is the Social Vent Podcast. A lot of great podcasts, a lot of great content for your ears or your eyeballs if you want to check us out on YouTube or if you want to check us out on Twitch or if you want to check us out on Facebook. It's, we are everywhere. We're taking over. We're taking over. So we're going to dive right on in. Got my notes here, my, my lucky charms of notes, and we're going to talk about Monday Night Raw. Start the show off with Bailey and Bianca going back and forth on the stick and... Bianca comes out first. She's got Alexa Bliss. She's got Asuka, and they're talking. She's like, uh-uh, girl, uh-uh. Bailey, you know, what she's going to do to her at Extreme Rules and stuff like that. And uh, comes out Bailey with damage control and everything, and they come out, and Bailey is like, you know, you were put in this spot. You were given this spot, you know. And then, of course, Bianca comes back, and they're going, they have a really great chemistry of going back and forth, but then... Bianca's like, you know, if I can't have you right now, I want Io Sky, and that's the first match of the Monday Night Raw. It was a great match. Uh, the outcome was Bianca, of course. Bianca took over, and we had uh, the next. Then the next segment is with uh, Poor Ray, my son Dominique. I will not put my hands on him. Oh no, not Dominique. Um, but hey, we had a match with Seth Rollins and Rey Mysterio. That was a fun match. Um, Seth Rollins is Seth Rollins was great. Uh, Seth won the match. Um, because of uh, the interference and then Dominic coming out and just telling him, hit me, 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 you know, come on, come on, hit me, and, and, you know, and Ray's like, no, 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 I'm not going to do that, not going to do that, but he gets a curb stomp, great match. This one I was very excited for, Johnny Gargano and Kevin Owens versus Alpha Academy, it, it, oh, man, seeing Johnny back in that ring, man, Johnny Wrestling, the one and only Johnny Wrestling, with Ke Kevin Owens, the prize fighter in Canada, like that pop for Kevin was huge. The love for Kevin Owens was huge. It's it's time for him to dethrone Roman, but we still got to build to it. So you know, we're, we're we're still we're still going. We're still getting to what we need to, um, but we're building to extreme rules. We're building and building and building. Omos had another squash match with some jobbers. As, as soon as I see them, I'm like. You know, like you, you know, you see Omos, the dude's huge, the dude's big, and then you see the jobbers, you're like, Yeah, th there's no way, there's no way he's, he's just here to squash. Um, big surprise of the night, uh, Candice LeRae is, is in WWE, she's in Raw. Well, she's in WWE, well, she's on Raw, she came out, uh, her and Dewdrop. Did their thing and big pop, big, you know, and there was a really cool backstage segment when uh, Bianca was with um, uh, Asuka and Alexa Bliss. And they say, hey, Candice, and then here comes Damage Control. Then Damage Control is like, oh, yeah, but they start talking smack and this and that. And it, it, it was, uh, I'm, I'm just really liking this back and forth. And also, too, more tease of the White Rabbit. More tease of the... I forgot to say, during the Rey Mysterio match, uh, um, a QR code popped up. And if you watch the, you know, the video itself, you go to the link. It's it's on a, it's on TikTok. The White Rabbit has its own TikTok. And 
this imagery and weird and just going on and everyone's just like what's going like what is this what's the white rabbit they've been playing it and the and uh uh, in between commercial breaks and stuff like that, the song and stuff like that. So it's like, is this Bray? Is it Bray Wyatt? Should we show? No, but they're doing so, they're doing so well. And they're putting these white rabbit things on cars. Like they are going all out on this. And I love it. I, I freaking love it. I can't wait until Extreme Rules because I'm feeling like that's when the big reveal, the big comeback is going to happen. Something big is going to happen in Extreme Rules. And the fact that AEW has put Battle of the Belts on the same night. Sorry, AEW. WWE's got my money. I'm, then I can watch the Battle of the Belts after. But the fact that AEW's like, hey, 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 we, 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 we got stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle of the Belts. Same night as Extreme Rules. Um, then we got AJ Styles and uh, the honorary Oos with Solo, Sami Zayn, Sami Zayn, I love Sami, and the, the fact that he's part of the bloodline, just it just makes my heart nice and toasty warm, and Zay, uh, Sami won, which was like, I thought AJ Styles was going to win, but uh, once again, we got a confrontation between Finn and we got a confrontation between AJ and Finn's like, yo, join the Judgment Day. You need to join the Judgment Day. Blah, 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 blah. You need to join the Judgment Day. And so he goes, no. And it was cool because he threw the two sweet and he goes, bah, your Judgment Day. Then they do the beat down. Uh, that was not all the action because we also had Matt Riddle versus Damian Priest. Matt Riddle won, and they they started doing uh they started beating him down and, and, and like you know because the Judgment Day, uh the Judgment Day is making a statement that they're here and I'm I'm very happy about it with Rhea, Dominic, Finn, um De you know everybody in the Judgment Day, it, it's 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 a faction that I'm I that I I fell in love with, then it kind of got tainted when Rhea got hurt. Then when they start coming, now they're making that momentum. And to end the show, to to get the show go, you know, off air and everything like that, lo and behold, the return of the rated R superstar, Edge. Huge pop, man. That, 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 hey, he has a huge pop everywhere he goes, but man, when he's in Canada. You know, it comes out and he does his thing, but he came out running and he told Finn, like, me and you, we're, you know, we're, we're going to fight at Extreme Rules in an I quit match. And um, every match, and they talked about um, Bian um, Bianca and Bailey just real quick. We're like a ladder match for the title. Every match has an extreme stipulation so far, you know, with the Seth and um, uh, Randy. Um, Seth, not Randy. Seth and um, Riddle. Almost called him Randy again, but the bro himself. They're, they're talking about uh, their uh, pit fight match or whatever that is being called, you know. But it, it's, it's, it's exciting because we're getting extreme. Extreme rules, baby. <laughs> Can't wait. Ah, just take your Battle of the Belts. That's all I'm thinking. I'm like, fuck your Battle of the Belts, man. Give me WWE Extreme Rules and give me everything that lovely cake is going to deliver with all the layers in it. Okay? Um, but Raw was fun. You know, I, 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 I'm I always having a good time now. It's, it's amazing to me, like, thinking of the days when Raw was a chore. Raw was like, oh, God. I don't want to watch Ryan. Fine, just put it on, you know. Now it's like I'm engaged the whole time, and we're gonna see. Uh, there, there was a, this is the la this was one of the highlights too. Uh, Alpha Academy's in the back, and they're with Theory, and then he's like, "Oh, my phone." He goes, "It's for you," and you hear Bray. Me and you next week. You know, <laughs> Chad Gable's face was like. Oh, 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 that Otis, I, I love, Otis is my spirit animal. Otis is my spirit animal. Otis, I love you, bro. Your, your expression is like, rrr, rrr. you know, you get me popping every time, man. I, I love the Alpha Academy. I can't wait until next week. So tell me what you thought of Raw. Drop those comments below. What was your highlight? What was, uh, what made you laugh? What made you cry? What made you want to rub one out? I don't know. 
okay? That's your business. My business is I'm just enjoying some professional wrestling here, and I'm having a damn good time. So like and subscribe. Share with your grandma. Share with your grandpa. Share with the bum down at Walmart. I am KMB. I should do it. KMB, the sexy ninja. And as always, the New World Podcast is for life, brother. It's for you. It's for me. Yeah. The master. <laughs> I am in high demand. Uh, hello. A two-tone doofus. Oh. Uh -huh.